Welcome to The Big Idea. I'm Donnie Deutsch. Okay, we're on the roadmap to the American dream. And tonight, we're going to make you believe once and for all you have what it takes to make millions, maybe even billions of dollars. And I do mean billions. And my first guest is the proof. Because in just 11 years, he went from being just your average guy in Queens to a beverage mogul selling his company for $4 billion. He's Darius Bykoff, founder and CEO of Vitamin Water, here for an exclusive interview, his first TV interview since selling vitamin water for billions to Coke. It was a monster announcement sending shockwaves through the beverage industry. Coca-Cola buys vitamin water for a whopping $4.1 billion. That's a sweet deal for vitamin water. And it's not bad for Coke either. It gives the beverage behemoth a huge boost with customers who shop for health and lifestyle over bubbles and sugar. So what's in the deal along with vitamin water? A full line of products that includes fruit water, smart water, and vitamin energy. Brands that brought in $355 million in sales last year. Not bad for the company's founder, Darius Bykoff, who got in the beverage biz practically on a whim. Now in just 11 years, he's gone from just your average guy from Queens, New York, to a giant in a giant industry. Darius Bykoff, founder and CEO of Iman Water, and a guy we've gotten to know right here on The Big Idea. Welcome back, sir. Thank you for having me. Before we go any further, I want to see what $4.1 billion tastes like. Nice deal, my friend. We're going to go back to the beginning. First, I want to talk about the deal. Why'd you sell? I mean, last time we here, you and I were talking about having your own thing. I've sold my company. It's an emotional decision more than a financial decision. Why'd you sell? There's a few reasons. I think first and foremost, Glosso and Vitamin Water in particular has achieved a really enormous scale. And it's come, there's come a point in time when to get it to grow even further. We need to be more places. Mm -hmm. And there's very few ways to get it all of those places than on one of the big right. systems. And there's, there's, a, there's a new team at Coke, and there's a new spirit at Coke, mm -hmm. and there's a new philosophy at Coke. And when they came to us and they shared with us what their vision was for the future and how we could fit into that picture, I realized that they were sharing my dream, that they were sharing the dream that I had for my brand to be everywhere and to be global. And I is realized... It, is it still your brand? You know, I think it's always going to be my brand. Okay. You know, this is, this is much more than a business to me. This is, you know, if I could sing, this would be my song. If I could paint, this would be my picture. And this brand, you know, I'm just not done. It's my masterpiece. And I'm not done yet. But what you just said is very interesting. It's my song. It's my masterpiece. That is about as personal as you can say. You sold the company. Huge amount of money. You're very humble. You said, Don, I don't want to talk about the money. You, you own a big chunk of that company. You sold it for $4 billion, so people can do the math. You certainly have a B after your name now. You can't visit your money every day. So is it going to still be that same personal, you know, because we all see that number. I sold for a number also. Not as big I, as your number, but a big uh, number. I woke up this morning more charged okay. up with more fire and energy in my belly than ever before. You know, I want you to know that there, this is not my success story. There are literally hundreds of people who have been involved in this success. Every single person in the company, from my partner, Mike Rapoli, who's been through this with me, you know, bad times and good times, right down to, you know, the guy that ships our packages out every day. So there are hundreds of people who have shared in the building of the success sure. story. It's, not a, it's, it's by far not a one-man show. And well, let's go back to the beginning when it was one. Man show. Take me through, because this is the seed of this show. We talked about it the last time. Now we're doing the victory lap. You know, <laughs> it's not over yet, but certainly there's been a great seminal moment in your business. Take me back only nine years ago. You were how this thing got started. You know, it it got started. You know, quite literally in my kitchen one day. I was sucking on one of those vitamin C wafers that I'm sure you've had. I was feeling a little bit run down, and I was drinking a bottle of water, sucking on a vitamin C wafer, and it dawned on me that the two things. I probably needed more of in my life were vitamins and water. And it just made so much common sense to go out and make the product. So uh, I, I, I had no background in this. So I surrounded myself. Nothing. You had been going into your father's business. It was metals. I was, I was in a family importing business. Nothing to do with this at all. No, absolutely okay. not. And I decided that I would become a student of the beverage business. And I learned everything I could learn about the beverage industry. I surrounded myself with people 
from food scientists to microbiologists to Ayurveda gurus. I mean, everybody just who knew anything. Just start talking to people. And, and, I, and, I, and I, I pulled together the concept. I pulled together the product. Um, the product today is significantly better than it was then. Um, but it's been a cr progression. There's been an evolution. What was the first product? Uh, the first three were actually Power C, uh, which is still our number one seller and my personal favorite. Interesting. Um, Stress B and Multi V. Those were the first three. There is that product demo. Uh, uh, they teach in Coke, by the way. <laughs> You're going to learn in Coke. My good buddy John Duna from Interpublic used to tell me this, that there is a whole art to the Coke quite shot. You know, there's a way to drink it, so you'll be here, but we're going to get back to that. I remember seeing this packaging for the first time and going genius because it looked like medicine in a bottle. It tasted great. You go, this is serious stuff. Along those lines, I want to ask the same question I asked Harry Schultz from Starbucks. When I look at this, because I know, I use your, I've used your product long before you came on the show and we got to know each other. And when I look at this thing and it says energy, I feel like I'm getting energy. How much is it that I am actually getting energy versus I feel like thus I get energy. And neither one is the wrong answer. Well, but I just, I always I, believe it's more psychological. 